Hey there, fellows. So right here I've got me a prop shaft for a lot of... It's just a regular old prop shaft, with absolutely no interesting attributes to it. But let's make us a funhouse prop shaft for a lot of... It won't work at this sort of angle. See, it's already binding. So this would be the maximum angle. That's like 15 to 20 degrees. We're gonna have to cut from inside the cabin. From here, then this way. An enormous hole. So this will be pointing up. And from there we'll have a different one aiming towards the hole. Yeah, the flange will be slightly offset. Good thing there's a uni after the intermediate bearing. That'll help us angle everything right. This connection will be secured to the intermediate bearing. And I still expect the whole thing to be ridiculously tall. But we'll see, I guess. For example, I can undo the flange from the pinion. That'll leave me with two flanges that will allow... But then I'll still have to align it with some other one. And if something were to go wrong, there's nothing I'll be able to do outside of uh, cutting and welding. with such modest angles? How tall is this going to be? I'm going to need a ladder to weld. Making this shorter will give us a better angle. Here's how we can connect it. See what sort of figure that gives us? And from there we... connect the rest of it. Check this out, guys. Here we have that funhouse prop shaft of ours. Can you turn it for me? This is looking good. We've got all of the joints. We even have some intermediate bearings, it's all good. The whole thing rotates without binding, even. Yes, that is a bunch of unis. But that's actually a good thing. This gives us a good understanding about how this works at various angles and so on. And at this point, we're about like... Halfway done, I'd say. You see, the thing here is that it exits the gearbox without terminating at the rear axle or anywhere like that. This is how it's routed. It changes its angle and goes like this over the roof. And somewhere up there will be the point where it'll start its descent into the cabin. Only from there will it make its way to the flange on the rear differential. So, yeah. We're almost out of unis and prop shafts. But we're not the type of people to give up. So we're gonna keep on working and, uh, yum. I really want to see how this thing behaves, so let's carry on. So look here, this is looking really good. The prop shaft has gone full circle. And that is a lot of unis. We're currently giving it a paint job. Prior to this we painted the whole thing black and now we're applying a white stripe. Which is a sort of ribbon, I don't know. And it'll show us how the shaft rotates. Like I said before, 
It is rerouted towards the rear, and this is where it turns and goes towards the flange on the rear differential, towards the rear axle. We are ready. Go ahead, test her, fire it up. Keep the box out of gear for now and hit it. Into gear. Holy cow! It is rotating! That is excellent! But what about... What the... I fully released the clutch pedal and it was like... That's because it ain't moving. Yeah, go ahead. It appears to be... well, yeah. Obviously, there will be massive parasitic losses with how long this thing is. Also, it isn't exactly straight. And that'll exacerbate any losses. Yeah, keep trying. It's all right. I can hear some rattling up there. That's the CV joint. The CV joint, you say? You fitted one CV joint and it's making noise. That checks out. Yeah, it's all good. I'd even say the knocking is a good thing. Terrific. Switch it off. Awesome. So that was us running it at idle, with the car on a lift and the wheels in the air. They aren't under any load and yeah, we heard some clattering, but nothing to worry about. I mean, we didn't fit any rubber couplers or anything like that. We were just cutting and welding. But now it is high time for us to drive around in this fun thing we've concocted. That is something I can't wait to do. And since the testing on the lift was successful, let's try this out on the road. Time to go for a drive. Okay, well, it's moving. Here we go. Right. We're doing well. Very well indeed. I mean, there is a slight wobble, but whatever. It drives. And it's driving rather well. Albeit slowly, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. What do you think, Gene? How do you like this prop shaft? Excellent stuff, right? It's just that a lot of people think these have to be straight. Which is almost the case here. Yep, see this? Excellent. And we made it work? Either. Yo, I got a problem. Can you help me out? You're calling Sergei, dude. This isn't Igor. I know who I'm calling. You're exactly the guy who can help solve my issue. Listen, I need to replace a uni joint. I can hear it crunching. Can I come over to your shop? Yeah, sure. Okay. He was suspiciously happy to agree. And here we are moving along. There they are, and already they're laughing. What are you guys laughing at? I was being serious. I was totally being serious. I need to replace a uni. One of them is crunching. No? Why do you say torturing? Hey, what's up? And those marks are for... We need to align this somehow, right? To eliminate any imbalance. One of the unis is like... Seen better days? He is making a crunching sound. We need to fix it. 
Take it apart. <laughs> Yo, Slovam. Can you go check the uni? It needs to be replaced. <laughs> Replace a uni, uh huh? One of them is making a clicky, crunchy noise. Is that like a universal drive? Yeah, even the seats are driven in this one. Which are missing, but anyway, one of the unis is busted. Can you fix it? Oh, you need the shop that's two blocks over. <laughs> and I thought you guys were jaded and fearless. Can it do one of those? What do you mean? Can it do a flip? Oh, we do everything. Sideways driving, on the side, flips, whatever. Okay, the expert has decided to give it a look after all. Where do we even start? Where do we start? <laughs> yeah, where do we begin disassembly? What a nice piece of kit. You like it? Are you gonna replace the uni? No, we won't. All right. I gotta go. I'm out. I think I know who else we can pay a visit. And it sort of finds a rhythm that it likes and drives with no issues. It is making a few knocking noises here and there. But overall we're looking pretty good, I'd say. Now if we were to use all new uni joints in this shaft... After all, we did assemble it out of used parts, unis, intermediate bearings and so on. But if all of that were new, this would have been sublime. And the really great thing is that none of it is falling apart yet. That is just superb. Yeah, that should do just fine. There we go. Let me ask these guys. Hey guys! I've got a busted uni. I can hear it crunching and clicking. Can you replace it? Which one? No, if only I knew which one. Aren't you guys the experts? Hey, dude. Can you replace the bad uni, the one that's making noise? No? <laughs> Did you count how many you got? 24. Is that with the intermediate bearings? You mean replace them? You need to find the bad uni joint first. As long as you balance it afterwards. Well, balancing... So you don't get any vibration. Well, we can try balancing it. So you've decided to pass, eh? Not surprised. And we are just flying, aren't we? And I do have to say, I'm not necessarily scared about something falling apart, but I am... We should have put another bearing right here. That would have made this way better. Okay, guys, so we've driven around for a little bit, and the thing moves around nicely. I mean, yeah, it is making some noises and whatnot. Well, obviously with a prop shaft shaped like this. But now we want to do a speed test to see how willing it is to speed up. See how fast it'll be able to turn. Because, well... It's one thing for it to move slowly, and a totally different story once it moves fast. So we're gonna find a safe place to hide, and from a certain distance we'll be adding revs and observing to see what happens. Curious? If so, make sure to sub to our channel if you want to see more interesting experiments like this one. Okay, everything is ready. Let's fire this thing up and see what it does. Let's go. All right. Take it easy. And this is us moving. In first gear at idle. Go for it, Nikolai. Ease into it. Let's go. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh.
Ay, 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 ay. What have you done, Nick? You've broken that masterpiece of a prop shaft that we made. It has been... It is... Well, there are a few shreds left. Oh, well, yeah, there are pieces of it left. Holy cow. Switch it off, please. No use letting it run. It was doing so well while we were driving slowly. But our high RPM testing has resulted in... One... It's two up there, right? Oh, that would disintegrate it. Those were the balls evacuating the CV joint. So yeah, here instead of a uni joint, we were running a CV joint. There's still a retainer on one side. But on the other side, it's gone. Yeah, stuff fell apart. Broke off over here and here. So in three spots, we have broken connections. In number four, it flew apart spectacularly. And so there you have it. I am going to have to concede that the straighter the prop shaft, the better. But even in this sort of funhouse configuration, it still does the job. Okay, well, this ridiculous looking prop shaft worked pretty well. We drove around, gave the people around the complex a laugh. And though we were moving incredibly slowly, yeah. The straighter the prop shaft, the better, obviously. This setup worked up until a point. But when we gave it some beans, the whole thing fell apart. And that's all I got for you. You saw it all for yourselves. Catch you guys later.